What is up guys, Flutterinic here. Um, one thing I've noticed a lot is uh, the newer videos I've been posting haven't been doing so well. I don't know yet. Um, well, I don't really know why. I mean, I'm not really complaining. You know, as long as I have some content out there, I don't really care how many views I got. I'm just doing it just to do it. Um, but with that said, I'm, I did a video, I think, like two days ago on some Copenhagen long cut. But... Um, I haven't posted it yet, which I'm going to post it later tonight, and then wait till tomorrow to post the video I'm about to make. And the skin's already cracked, I've had a couple lips out of it, um, actually, about 10% of the can, um, and I'll show you what it is once I put it in. And what we are dipping is my favorite. Alright. Stoker's straight. I mean, not straight. I'm looking at all my, uh, my Stoker's straight cans. Uh, saying Stoker's straight, but Stoker's mint. Now, I remember one time I was at my uh, friend's, uh, you know, he had a river house. Um... They only had one can of Soaker Straight. One can of, um, not one can, but they had a couple cans of mint and wintergreen. My decision was to get straight, mint, and wintergreen. Um, I was there for like about a week and I made these last pretty long um one thing I tried the most not to dip was the mint and straight um mainly because I didn't like the winter green and I don't want to be stuck because I didn't have my truck at the time mm -hmm. um out there um speaking of which my friend just uh, snapchatted me but um I didn't drive all the way out to where his river house was um it was hella fun we went rafting down um the river um we were gonna do some fishing but we didn't really have poles we had some po uh, poles we caught some baby fish but we didn't really do some actual fishing um i wish i brought my gopro for that one i brought my computer and the spin tires game i play um I think honestly these are not even really dip reviews anymore that's probably why they're just me rambling on about things which I don't mind sharing um, it's you know something that's kind of interesting if you know you're that type of person that you kind of want to know what you know other people do like the bloggers or the bloggers whatever you call them um, I guess that's kind of what this is what I mean. I've had Coke Grizzly, um, Grizzly Dark, uh, Premium Wintergreen, and Copenhagen. I believe I said Copenhagen twice. I don't know. Um, and so those are the only brands of uh, mint I have dipped. Same thing with um, Wintergreen. Um, I don't really leave those brands, but, uh, lately I, I'm gonna start to, um, I'm actually gonna start doing a lot more research on other flavors these companies have. Um, you know, it's something a little bit simple to do. I mean, I dip, you know, I get a lot of shit from people saying this and that, like, Stoker's isn't that good, but I'm like... And with every Stoker's, like, this is, like, kind of a dry can, but it's still got more, um, juice in it than the Long Cut does. Um, you know, I, I honestly don't care for mint or wintergreen, uh, but sometimes, you know, you kind of get, like, an urge that you want something that's, you know, got a, kind of a good smell to it. 
from other people's point of views. Um, definitely long cut isn't one that a lot of people like the smell of. N neither is straight. Um, you know, it just varies. Um, but, you know, it's a little cool thing is I know I've, I think I've done, or no, no, I don't think I did um, a video on uh, Stoker's uh, Wintergreen. I'll have to check. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I'll have to check. I, then that would mean I've done every uh, other one. I know Stoker's, I think, has some chew out, which I want to go and order some or find some. I'm not sure if I can order. I haven't been on their site in a while. But, um, you know, pretty soon, uh, I think in about two weeks, school should uh, start back up. I think what I'm actually going to do is uh, do a truck video. Um, since I have to replace my timing belt on my truck, and, you know, I'm. It's going to be a lot of work to do. Um, but I'm going to do a video on that because, I mean, I know. Shout out to Outlaw, um, just because, but he's been doing his, uh, truck videos, uh, kind of lately, but now he's been doing the fishing ones. Um, you know, I don't know, some, cause that's the thing, um, that I like to do is, uh, you know, work on trucks. Uh, just earlier today, I was working on getting a brake booster out of a, uh, 2001 Chevy Blazer, uh, which was a bitch because of the um you know just you have to tear all the carpeting you know all the other stuff out plus getting because I didn't actually like completely take it apart I straight up went to the firewall and started unbolting it um was a pain in the ass um couldn't find the right sockets and also the ratchets were um just skipping uh so made it harder and I wasn't using any of my tools I just was asked for help and I was like more experience for me um you know I'm taking out seats taking out the entire interior uh, taking off bumpers you know I can do basic stuff for now that I because I haven't really had any good teaching because I've been working on the more you know modern cars but you know, I could learn a lot about the older uh, classic cars like the 70s, 80s, and, um, you know, even the 60s uh, vehicles because of, um, that's how, what my dad grew up working on. Um, and, you know, I've been without a vehicle, but I make use of it, and it's also a good thing because I've been going to the gym lately, so I'll be just riding my bike around, um, just, you know, enjoying what's around me, because in a car, you, sometimes you take it for granted, and, you know, you gotta go out in the woods, you know, experience some stuff, you know, not that I say that I don't do that in a truck, but, um, you can go slow, and you don't have to, like, keep going, and worry about someone coming up behind you, and not being able to get through. It's a bonus, honestly, in my opinion, it's just riding a bike, I, I'm an active person, always have been so I actually might get a video um pretty soon just doing a bike video I just riding just for the fun of it uh you know uh showing you all the you know these cool little hills that are around where I am I mean I'm in Florida still and I got hills and it is fun to ride down um for sure it's not a not a pleasant thing to ride up um, but I do have a fixed gear bike just because it's just, um, you know, it's a lot faster of a bike. It's not as compared as to like a stupid, uh, I guess like Tour de France bike. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't really, really too key into all these different types of bikes. I know I used to work on a lot of bikes with Frankenstein when I was younger, so that's where I get my kind of mechanics. Um, personality from is where I Frankenstein bikes I take chopper ports and put it on BMX frame I've actually taken two frames I took a 
Then we got a DK general Lee frame and took a next or a Huffy frame and just put it right onto the C post and got some mounts, drilled some holes and didn't do any welding and it worked pretty well as a tangent bike. Mm -hmm. That's a little cool thing. Um, but, um, you know, cool and interesting things. But all in all, since kind of rambled on, but you know, I don't mind doing that. Um, I would say Copenhagen Mint and, you know, Grizzly, either dark or um, this regular mint, kind of outdoes it with the mintiness of it, but the lasting flavor, this outdoes uh, both of those. Um, I don't, um, I'm looking to get some different dips. I'm also trying to find the other hot rod can of the Grizzly. Um, so when I find that, that'll be cool. But with that being said, I'm out, y'all. Catch y'all in the next video.